Hi, my name is Courtney and I was 21 years old when my journey began. Alright, so this is a story I haven't told anyone since I told the police officer who helped me um, protect myself against my ex-partner. I was 21 years old and I was in the middle of trying to find myself and who I was. And he was charming and chivalrous and he'd taken me out on dates and he was lovely at the start. A lot of stuff happened, a couple months later we ended up moving in together. At first it was fine and then slowly red flags started appearing. The red flags were probably always there, I just chose not to see them. Little things like not being allowed to see my friends or being upset if I said no to um, spending time with him. Asking me for money constantly, money that I didn't have. <laughs> So it starts with the small things, it starts with little ways to control you, controlling your money, controlling who you see, when you see them. Um, slowly it get, turns into aggression and heated arguments. The first time he hurt me, I was in shock. I'd always been the girl who, the ultimate feminist, the girl who couldn't believe that girls would ever stay with someone who ever hurt them. I didn't understand because I didn't have the context. First time he hurt me, I was in so much shock that I think I went and I decided to blame myself. He constantly reiterated that. He would tell me that I'd need to stop making him angry because making him angry was why he'd hurt me. And he told me that he, sorry, that he hated hurting me, but he couldn't help it because I'd make him angry and it wasn't something he could control. And I stayed. I had support, I could have left, but I stayed because I thought I loved him and I thought he loved me. So I was willing to put up with it, I was willing to stay. I was literally the person I always despised because I thought it was strong to walk away. I thought if someone hurts you, there's no excuse to stay, but I realised later on that those are the wrong things that we should be asking, those are the wrong questions, those are the wrong beliefs to have because you don't stay because you don't always stay because you're scared to leave sometimes you stay because you want to stay because you don't imagine a future without them because you genuinely oh, you genuinely care about them I had friends throughout the whole time who no matter how much I pushed them away no matter how many times he told me not to see them they kept um they kept letting me know that I had them there as support and I think that's a really important thing that we need to have because when I did eventually leave, I knew I had them. I knew that they hadn't abandoned me because they remembered who I was before I was with him. So it ended because he cheated for like the hundredth time. <laughs> but I finally got um, the strength to stay away partially for as long as I could. Two weeks after we broke up, I found out I was pregnant. He told me if I didn't get an abortion, he would throw me down the stairs or find another way to get rid of the baby. And I believed him because it wasn't like he'd never hurt me before. It wasn't like he hadn't pushed me around before. Because I was pregnant, it was different. It, was, it wasn't just about him hurting me. I went to my best friend crying. She forced me to go to the police. She told me that it was something that I needed to do and I didn't want to go. And it wasn't until I told that story to her that I realized that it was a lot worse than I thought it was while I was inside that bubble. I think it's important to speak about it as much as possible because the more you speak about it, the more people don't feel alone. They don't feel like they're to blame because they already feel like they're the ones who are to blame just continuously asking if they're okay, if you see any signs, if you see any red flags, just to talk about it, to not be scared of it, to just try to be there for them. I saw this quote a couple weeks ago about how love doesn't leave you traumatized. It's not meant to hurt you, it's not meant to make you scared, it's not meant to make like your life harder, it's meant to help you, it's meant to grow with you, it's meant to make you happy. So if if, you're, if you think you're in love and it's not making you happy and it's not safe, then you need to do everything you can to walk away.
even though it's hard. 